good morning students today i am going to start this video for class 12th and i am going to take the book flamingo in english the poetry section and the first poem i am going to deal with here is my mother at 66 this is the poem written by kamla das and she set the location the background that was very much indian so we can see here the situations uh, through this lyrical idiom, the genre of the poem, through this lyrical idiom, we can see she talked about the Indian society, very much original, very much, uh, very well known to all of us. Here she has talked about the complexities of relationship. She has talked about how a daughter who goes away from her parents at that time when her parents need her assistance, her help, her love, her care, but she is bound. Why? Because she is married and she has the responsibilities of her own family also. In Indian society, this is, uh, you can say, uh, you know, everybody, we all know about this, that the girls have to go back to their own families. So Kamala Das very beautifully has uh, taken out that feel of a daughter about her mother. So the background of the poem is that po the poet Kamla Das, she is uh, leaving her parents uh, house to go to her own house and while going to Cochin to the airport, she is uh, assisted with her mother. She is, uh, uh, you know, in the car and her mother is also with her. And at that moment, she looked at her mother and found something which was very painful. So let me read the first part of the poem, the first stanza you can say, although there is no division in this poem. You will see that this poem is written from the first sentence to the last in one sentence only. So there is no division, only the commas are there. So in this lyrical, uh, uh, you can say poem, very intensely, uh, you can say the feelings the emotions are exhibited here so let me read the first stanza for you driving from my parents home to Cochin last Friday morning I saw my mother beside me Dawes open mouthed her face ashen like that of a corpse and realized with pain that she thought away and Look, but soon put that thought away and looked out at young trees printing, merry children spilling out of their homes. So, dear students, this is the first stanza. In this stanza, she is explaining that situation when she and her mother both were in a car heading towards the airport at Cochin. Here she saw by chance she when she looked at her mother she found her mother was half slept means what is the word for that half slept that is in the poem it is doze so the mother was dozing she was not uh, uh, you know looking normal to her as when she looked at her she found that she was open mouthed and her face was resembling to that of the face of a corpse. What do you understand from corpse? It is dead body. Very good. So it is that her mother's face resembled to that of a dead body. It was very shocking. It was very painful idea. For a second she was shocked. She astounded. She found, she thought that her mother was no more. And this thought that her mother is no more with her. Because she was getting old, she was at the age of 66 and now the countdown was started. Any day could be the last day of her mother's life. This was a very painful thought for a daughter going, leaving her mother alone. At this moment, she realized very intensely that probably next time she would not be able to meet her mother when she would be back from her own house but she was bound she had to go to her own place 
so she says driving from my parents uh, home to cochin last friday morning i saw my mother beside me in the car and i found that she was dozing and her mouth was open and what else the, uh, did she realize at that time she realized that her face was ashen like that of a corpse dear students please focus upon this line here the poet has used a poetic device yes very good i think you all know this is simile when we use like or as to compare something with it is simile and what are the spellings of simile yes generally students do the error in the spellings please uh, revise the spellings with me s i m i l e yes very good so she looked at the face of her mother and found that it was ashen like that of a corpse it was lifeless ashen here means lifeless dull not having any uh, you can say charm of life so she found that her mother's face was ashen like that of a corpse and this was really something very painful thought for her she couldn't stay with that thought she wanted to put that thought away as we all know you know if any such type of thought comes to our mind what do we do immediately we say no 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 this is not going to happen so she also did the same thing she wanted to put that thought away from her mind the thought of separation the thought of her mother's death the thought that her mother was no more she wanted to put that thought away from her mind and what did she do she started looking out of the window of the car and what did she see you know generally how do we relax our nerves when we are very tense stressed sometimes we listen music sometimes we watch tv sometimes uh, we go out to play or talk to somebody here since they were in the car so uh, she started looking out of the car and she saw what she saw the trees what type of trees young trees she started looking at the young trees and while she looked out of the car at the trees yes it is very common you all know that it seemed to her that the trees were sprinting running back you can associate the imagery here the poet has used the poetic device imagery please don't get confused with the personification personification is not the right poetic device here in some books you may find but the right poetic device as per the board norms is personification so she looked at the trees running past since the car was running ahead and when she looked out of the car she found the trees sprinting back fast as the age runs very fast so you can associate the idea with with this imagery as well so the trees young sprinting full of life full of energy and full of enthusiasm you can say in a way so it was a stark contrast with what with the snail mother old lifeless dull dozing looking like ashen so here she looked at the trees sprinting fast and what else the second imagery she has used in the same stanza so she looked at the children what type of children you can say merry children spilling out of their homes so she looked at the children those who were merry very beautifully you can say just enjoy the poetry of uh, kamla das she used uh, uh, the imagery of uh, you know the merry children with the word spilling generally what do we spill here you can take out another imagery in your mind that is when we spill the marbles on the floor what happens lots of chittering sound comes and lots of musical sound comes out so when she looked at the children coming out of their homes they were happy they were merry they were uh, coming for school or for some other purpose since it was friday morning so you can say here that when she looked at the merry children 
you know smile is very contagious you must keep on smiling so when she looked at the merry children spilling out of their homes means coming out of their homes she felt very good little bit relaxed and for a moment she forgot the thought what thought just coming back to the start of the poem the thought of losing her mother the thought of separation permanent separation from her mother so it was the thought of uh, separation which she was able somehow to remove remove from her mind for some time by looking out of the window so students here in this first stanza there are uh, you can say two uh, um, uh, poetic devices are used first is simile action like that of a corpse and second is imagery in which two images are used first is trees sprinting young trees sprinting and second imagery is merry children spilling out of their homes i hope that you enjoyed the explanation plus uh, go through the reading of the stanza and find out that all these three poetic devices one that is simile and second that is imagery in which two poetic uh, two examples are used by the poet so these poetic devices please go through these nicely